Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So Tommy Sotomayor finally released his film, Fatherless America. And I noticed that a couple of YouTubers that I'm subscribed to have been talking about this particular issue. And I wanna chime in and share my thoughts about this particular project and just about Tommy, period. Number one, I will not be watching Fatherless America. And I encourage people not to watch it. I encourage people to boycott the film. And I'm gonna explain why. It has nothing to do with the actual content of the film. It's more so about the person who produced the film. That's the problem. I think that we need to hold people accountable for their speech. You know, you have this man who has not only attacked black women, he's attacked black people, period. This is a man who says, fuck the black community. So my question to black people is why support a man that doesn't support you? A man that said, fuck the black community. A man who said, where's Darren Wilson when you need him? And you all remember Darren Wilson is the man, the police officer who gunned down Michael Brown, an African-American man in Ferguson, a young man rather, you know, sparking protests, demonstrations and rebellions in Ferguson. This is a man who said, we need an army of George Zimmerman. You all remember George Zimmerman is the, the racist man who killed Trayvon Martin, shot Trayvon Martin through the heart. Also, you have this guy, Tommy Sotomayor, encouraging white people to fire upon black youth that approach them. You know, that he made that statement around the time when you had this fake controversy involved in the knockout game. This man, Tommy Sotomayor, has also said other things. He, he has joked about domestic violence. He has made mockery of people who have died. This man has made mockery of people like, a, um, what's the sister's name? Francis Cress Welsing. This man is an absolute disgrace to the black race. And I don't think that we should reward people who sell out our community. We should not financially support these types of people. We need to penalize them and make it clear that we don't support them at all. So for that reason, you know, I encourage people not to buy anything that this guy sells. I encourage people to not even watch his videos. You know, I, I haven't watched a video of his in a very long time. Only recently did I watch the trailer after I heard people talking about this particular film. So, you know, I encourage people not to support this guy, not to support his, his product. You know, it's a shame that he would be the one to produce such a film. You know, perhaps it is a good film, perhaps it makes valid points, but I will never know because I will not watch it. Because of his antics, you know, this is a man who basically made money off of attacking black women, made money off of justifying police brutality, defending people who commit uh, police brutality against our people. This is a man who actually did a video where he was co-signing housing discrimination against black people, talking about how he wouldn't want to rent to black people either. So why support this man? Why give him a dime of your money? Would you... Uh, support a project that was put out by a Klansman? Would you support a project that was put out by a man who um, talked about how black women are this and that and, you know, degrades black women and actually jokes about domestic violence? This is a man who joked about beating a black woman, you know, saying pound cake, pound cake. So my question is, how can any black person in their right mind give this man their support. Now I could understand like somebody that doesn't know this man's track record, somebody that's completely ignorant of this guy's history. I can understand somebody like that uh, buying his product because they don't know, you know, this man's history. They don't know his, his statements. They don't know how he has denigrated black women and black people, period. So I can understand how s such a person would go ahead and buy something of his because they just don't know any better. But for those people who know what this guy is about and they choose to buy his film anyway, I think that that just speaks to, you know, the true nature of these some of these people, man. Because some of these people, they claim to be so against Tommy or whatever, 
But a lot of these people just want to be Tommy. A lot of these people are fans of his. You know, a lot of these people have said it out their own mouths that they agree with him, you know, agree with his statements about black women. So I just wanted to share this real, with you all real quick. Tell me what you think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.